The fast ass head that. Oh, yeah, what's that? Smallville. I mean, it was great for it, but more knowledge on Superman that show sucks too. Anyway, Eternals is gonna lose to Spider Man. Eternal, yeah. Honestly, Eternals is gonna lose because the very fact that you have characters that even fans of Marvel don't give a damn. And we're not saying that no one gives a damn about Icarus. We're not saying that no one gives a damn about uh, Athena, Xerxes, or no, 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 because they're actually playing a good pivotal part. But the point about playing a pivotal part in an actual in in the actual series is the very fact is you have to be mentioned, you have to be seen, you have to be shown. There were no hide nor hair or tales of the Eternals. Yeah. Even hinting at something that only, had them to do with. Only comic book fans know. And not comic book fans. Let's stop saying that. Marvel Comics fans. Mm, okay. History, like the ones that really study it for a, a like a mythology. We know that, yo, a certain thing started a certain thing. Certain characters uh, created DNA, not DNA, but they implemented how DNA would change, how your powers would be accessed, all of this shit, right? These are supposed to be the biggest stories. Now, here's now, my thing. As you said, though, in the first beginning, not to cut but in, in, uh, in the first beginning, if they do not, which you've been preaching to me for so many years, if they do not drop... The main three origins for the main only people that's on that earth from the get go, mm-hmm. as far as the deviants, the humans, and the eternals, if they don't explain their job, their role, and what's supposed to be out their destiny, then the whole movies was screwed from the get go. Yeah, because then you know that they're just making up a story. And that's fine to do for creative purposes. I, I get it, and I've been saying I get a writer's compromise with. I don't want to just rehash what's written in a comic book and put that out there. I want it to be a, an original story. And I'm probably getting paid to make an original story. If these people was getting paid to just, yo, just make the visuals for this comic book, that shit would be easy. Mm-hmm. It would be probably hard to animate and do all of that visual shit. But as far as the lines and everything, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's like 10 minutes. You're just stretching the situations out to make it two hours, but saying all of that to say that this is too big of a deal for Marvel's history in films, comics, the interest and ideology of Marvel will expand after these movies. Yeah. This movie is supposed to expand the real ideal of Marvel. It's supposed to expand space. Multiverse stuff, time, space, wormholes, characters that cannot be explained we have things in marvel called the impossible people man the impossible imps if here's my thing with that if marvel if we're lucky enough we're gonna get a hint of that of just different beings because what if they already had uh howard the duck like got out he they were talking to him like oh my god this is the original marvel character that's a bit those things are big deals it's like yo what is the point of constantly trying to just have a money grab you come out with a comic book based movie anime whatever even last airbend all of that shit right and then you fuck it up how you how are you messing up stories that have stories yeah that that that's a shameful that that is a shameful it, it, to and again with you what you said is the whole adaptation now, there's nothing wrong with a person, you know, putting their, wanting to tell their story. But it's kind of hard when you already have an original story that these characters are not just based off of, but, you know, that's their true origins. Yeah. And it wouldn't make much sense to go off on it. the introduction of the, uh, I mean, come on, my thing is, they tried with the Inhumans, it didn't work. Well, they kind of... I don't want to say they tried with the humans. I I say they 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 tried to just put it out like to say like all right look, well this is what they are you know so it's trash right now but in the future if we want to come out with a big budget on it we could fix it or something. Because well, that's thing what is it like, seems they like. They powered down Black Bolt. Disgusting. Like, like, I mean to get hit in the back it's like oof. And just push over a car yeah. is ridiculous. Should have shattered that area in front of him. 
Whisper Shatter Cities is described in his abilities. Stop saying you can't animate it. Then don't have the characters in there. Where and look to please the fans, they're asking you for certain things that are like the normal basic characteristics. I mean, yeah, that's it. We seen Man of Steel. They did an amazing job with that. It was the first time, like, when they did Superman two back then when he was fighting all three of them. You know, they fought in the city. They had some destruction for the budget that they had back then. Oh, this this was the remake, basically, of that, of Superman 2. Mixed in with Superman 1 with his origins. They did an excellent job. Showcase Krypton, what it's supposed to look like, what uh, type of animals they have. Up until the end, because my Superman will kill. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Except for that. But, but, no, it's the powers and abilities... Just how much holding back looks like. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, he got slapped into a building and his chest was on fire and all of that, but it did nothing. He was getting up. These type of things don't hurt Kryptonians. You have to fight a long time and really be powerful or have some kind of weakness. And they showcase that, but it's not a lot of comic book movies... And I mean big characters that set the whole goalpost of the franchise. Yeah. Like DC and Marvel are made off of certain characters and certain events and then they fumble it. So now we getting into Spider-Man. No Way Home. Finally, the one thing I wanted to see, at least in the trailer so far, is the interaction between two different major entities mm-hmm. of a comic book. You live in the same city. Why have you never visited the Baxter building? We have no idea. We we know the background information, contracts, blah, blah, blah. But for the sake of seeing it, we have no idea. Um, so now you see him swinging to Doctor Strange. That was one of the best things I've ever seen. Because it makes sense that he would call. It is my, and people say, oh, why would he go to Doctor Strange? Here's my thing with that. It, 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 there's nothing wrong with characters going to other characters. Now, mind you, Peter has always been the character that will always switch over to another side. Between yeah. him and Logan, mm-hmm. is the only characters that will literally cross over to other people's Mad sides. other teams mm-hmm. and shit. To like, actually talk to other people if they have problems. But, yeah. And they used to call Wolverine the most overrated character ever because of his healing and survival and all of that other shit but uh, he's not but that's another story this is like spider-man as much as people talk shit about what be missing from his movies look at the numbers this is why he keeps getting booked and honestly because sam is coming he back. hit you with out of three rounds he hit you with two two and a half why because he gonna have a crazy villain he going to do some crazy ass fighting sequence, mm-hmm. some ridiculous survival sequence, which a lot of you characters don't have all of those aspects in a movie. He has a love story within a movie. He has his and not too sexual, not too sexual. He has um, his actual education story. He has which his a struggle villains origins slight origins he has to fight with them he has to fight with the people that know about him which is <coughs> also crazy because the fact that the people that spider-man always actually fights has a personal dealings with this man yeah. this is not about this is not like a, um some old black widow taskmaster type of thing where it's like uh, i created that or it's not like we're some uh, uh, uh it's best genuine friend and villains bucky. exactly genuine not, uh, villains not like, like best friend and bucky it's like it's it's as close to Batman as it gets. This is why him and Batman's villains... This is why they're compared so much. Gadgets, technology, uh, smarts, all of that stuff. But it's the villains. We know villains make the characters, make the heroes. And he brought... And I mean, for... And the thing about it is, they were never going to not miss with bringing back Spider-Man's villains. Yeah. I mean, they were never not... Here's my thing about it. Again... 
they could have came back with another character for Doc Ock playing a Doc Ock, and people still went to go see it. People still went to go went to go see it. Yeah. They now came back with the original character. Yes, that character has been CGI. Mm-hmm. But it's the fact that you came back with that personal character. And yeah. again, like I tell everybody, it would have been crazy if this man said, hello, Pete, new suit. I would have just sat there and been like, yo. Oh, I, he, he might say it because you've seen when he put on the suit mm-hmm. and then it went off. He might say something like that. And the thing about it is we have never seen, and this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see the Doc Ock. We wanted to see Doc Ock versus Scarlet Spider, uh, uh, not Scarlet, uh, uh, Iron Spider with mm-hmm. the with the actual. Yeah. God, that's going to be so amazing. I like Kill the fact all? that WandaVision introduced introduced the uh, multiverse first because it was going to have Doctor Strange do it, but you know. Well, he technically did um, do it because she mentioned the literal multiverse. They mentioned it first, but to showcase. A character from another entity's universe that's still based in the same yeah. comic book. WandaVision did do it first with. Here's the crazy um, part with that one. Did Peter mess up the spell, or was it Wanda? I don't know. Now this is the crazy thing I was sitting there thinking about. I was like, Wanda's <laughs> already trapped in the multiverse doing her stuff. But that was three weeks after these events. This is eight months later. True, that's what, but that's what I'm saying. Like when he did the spell, who's to say that Wanda's screwing up magic shit? And uh, Strange yeah. doesn't know. Possibly, but remember, even in the comic, he really did mess that up. He really did mess. He did have that interaction with Doctor Strange. Oh, true. And true. his nine acceptance of the belief in magic is why things was messed up. In this, he already fought with him. And people who say, oh, why would Doctor Strange do this? Obviously, you don't know Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, he fucks around. Is cocky. Yeah, thank you. I was saying that there. I was like, yo, the real Doctor Strange got in trouble a lot because he always felt like, oh, I'm the Sorcerer Supreme. I know how to fix this. Yeah, I got it. Iron Man with magic. Yeah. Ego wise. Yes. He's just. Matter of fact. He, he tries to act like he's I'm part sorry. of Illuminati. He was because uh, my plum part is my thing is he was better than Tony. He was better than Tony. Yeah. Before he even got power because of the fact that he was a surgeon, mm-hmm. the world's best surgeon, versus a person that uses his intelligence to sell weapons, of mass destruction. Oh, oh shit. But um, now, I think intelligence. In overall, yes, Tony Stark is more intelligent on an overall scale. Like, his genius level is higher than his. But he's still a brilliant surgeon and the world's best. But, yeah, I like the fact that Spider-Man movies usually cover all ground. To a point. Now, the reason why I say it two rounds out of three... It's because the thing that they really be dropping the ball on is just how important he really is in his involvement with multiple characters. Like, this is going to be the first time he's involved with another character for real. Honestly. Not, not an Avengers movie, a team-up movie. Not a compilation movie. We talking about a single movie that he just so happened to be teaming up. Because... Honestly, uh, on that on that note, because I'm sitting here thinking, I guess Iron, far Man. As in, Iron Man would be. Far, this team up with Iron Man would be first. Uh, but that was wasn't a team up though. Yeah, this is a real like experience. Damn it. Yeah, but, but yeah, but man, I'm just excited for to see more of that. I think that it's. The trailer alone surpassed what Eternals gave us. I mean, clearly. They, they tried to trick us with the second one, and it was too late. You should have... That's how you should have introduced it, off, it. Presented yourself as godly beings. Yeah, it's like, yo, stop with the we're regular human aliens. We'd be back. No, aliens is not the... No, that is... No, you from here. You, you're, you're in, What the fuck? You're not the Kree. You're not... You're, you're, you're you not don't the, come from somewhere. Your experiments that went right. 
powerful banging tech that was created by celestial beings that's your daddy my thing with that is the very fact that is again it, y'all have too many characters y'all have too many people it, uh, it, they're not gonna be able to expand on all of that shit no cause here's my thing about it is who you gonna focus on everybody they gonna have too many origin stories at a dinner table somewhere. I don't have time to be focused on a character every five minutes of the movie instead of the the big shit that's supposed to be happening oh but to sit there and get your story and your story we're gonna put you together and you're gonna go on this journey in the movie instead I already of, see it. it's a journey yeah but I wanted it to be like if people saw I'm gonna say not Inception but uh uh, what's the other space space movie where they was like going through space? Hold up. Don't get me wrong. We I, could be sitting like, here speculating in, Interstellar, it, and they can give us gold. Interstellar was the movie. It um, I I wanted to see it be showcased like Interstellar. I wanted to see more space celestial type things what they did like i want a 20 minute scene of this this is what i'm saying i want yeah i want a 20 minute scene of celestial activity i am sick of the human shit like yo this is the multiverse who's out there what makes this such a big deal who are all these beings why do we only got one planet are these beings really this powerful? Where where do they power level stop? Start. How far can it go? Like I, I I'm ready to see that in a comic book movie. Um huh? Oh yeah. Uh, no, 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 but, but and I understand it. But my thing about it is like why so is there only basic. planets in the Guardians? Yeah. Right. That's my problem with that. It's like so you're telling me and oh well, Captain no, Captain Marvel they only went to the Kree planet they get and she came back. She ain't say shit about the Kree. She ain't say anything about the Kree at all of what she did. Why did you go back and leave Miss Marvel come back? Just am I it, it, I even that. Uh it, They taking too long to get to a second one of her too. The red room is so stupid, so stupid. Why are you put it underground? Why is it in the air? All right, we gonna cut this video here because we going on a tangent. But yeah, no, I think. What is your closing thought on this? And the Spider Man and Eternals thing. I think Marvel has put it's dumb me wrong. The only reason why they put that Marvel had no intention of showing us that trailer. Marvel had no intention of showing us that Spider-Man trailer at all until someone leaked that. And it was a fake leak. Oh, no, that was the CGI. Uh, it was just unfinished CGI's. It, and it's kind of crazy because it was like, it was, it, I think it was like from, it was some Chinese people with something in the back. Bro, it ain't no real leaks. Those be them. That's how they test out what the reaction is going to be. Oh, no, no, because no, th there was, like, someone actually... Well, I mean, I don't know. Again, you, you might be right, but uh, from what I, from the sources I'm pulling from, there was an actual step on You can't that, even step on premises without a contract. Well, because here, again, so here's my thing. In other, pla in other countries where... Because remember, they send these films. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they chop these things up. Now, now, apparently, not everything is made in America. Yeah. You know that. I have, I have no problem with that, but this is how you get leaks out there, and this is how you get the storyline for The Matrix 4, and this is how you get stuff like that. For some reason, people can't keep shit quiet, and I can't blame them for that. <laughs> but no, I don't even care about closing, it. Closing yeah. arguments for it is just, as far as, even if they were planning it or didn't plan it, Marvel put its foot in its mouth for the next two movies that it was coming out with. They really did put his foot in the mouth. You may say, oh, well, you know, it might be uh, 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 leaking to someone else, leaking to this, leaking oh, to that. Maybe it's strategic marketing. Find out next episode on... What are we talking about? I like that.